around today, watch us finish the Tacoma and get it completed so we can give it back to the owner. So now that we finished our initial buff, we got the truck out here in the sunlight where we can see the things that we missed. Easy way to figure out, uh, to kind of mark your stuff, you go get one of your kids' crayons, you go around the truck like I'm about to do, mark the spots you missed so you know where you got to go back and get some more attention. Okay, so we've laid down the clays, and now I'm going to start with some sandpaper. We're going to kind of smooth this back out, get down to where the little uh, bare metal was just showing through and then we'll finish this off so start with some 600 and we're not going to go crazy with it this uh, putty plastic thingy here is kind of like a straight edge and I'm going to do I'm going to put some 2000 grit in here because it's not going to take much to, to smooth this out. And you just want to be real careful. You don't want to get crazy with it. Just enough so we can touch that up. So are you going for the same level as the paint and then you're going to recolor the putty with the paint stick? Correct. Okay. Well, yes. So it's not for filling in a divot, it's for repainting. Like if you had a mild scratch, that paint stick would work perfectly. Exactly. If you had a mild scratch. But if you've I'm got these big use... chunks and chips out, you've got to fill it back in to come back to level or you're still gonna see the divot, just Correct. a different color. Correct. Okay. You see, I'm trying to get this to where it's at the same part, and I'm not even pushing down very hard. I'm, I'm being real careful. Because I don't want to scratch up the rest of this hood. I mean just with that 600, I'm gonna to have to touch that up. Now I did pick up some some factory aerosol because I figured this this spot might be a little bit too big for the uh, touch-up pin. And I picked up some factory clear. Because all I wanna do is fix this spot right in here. And I'm just trying to prevent bare metal from showing. I, if, uh, if I was worried about perfection, I would've, we would strip this whole hood down. I mean, you got nicks all up and down here. But those aren't showing bare metal. They're showing primer. And uh, the owner of the truck didn't really care about perfection. But I just don't want bare metal showing. A little bit of soapy water. A little light sanding. And you can, you can fix that. And we're going to go ahead and move over to this other one.
Okay, so what we got is some duplicolor perfect match. And uh, all we're going to do is we're going to do a light three coats in this little area here and cover up that spot that I bonded. Why do you have two cans? This is a clear coat. Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. Hide your shame. Finish all the all the uh, rubbing compound. I had to take a heavier rubbing compound and hit the other side. Uh, some spots that weren't coming out with the finesse. Uh, it took a little longer than I expected, but uh, it's looking better. I uh, cleaned up the two spots on the hood, so that's looking better. And um, now I've got uh, I got some just basic turtle wax on there. I'm gonna let it set, and uh, I'm gonna hit it with a finishing pad on on the uh, on the orbital polisher and uh, touch up some stuff, clean it up. It's dead, so I'm going to jump it off and then, uh, uh, you know, Nick can come grab. So let's see if we can polish this off before uh, it starts raining on us.
I mean, that little truck came out really well. I think the owner's going to like it. Nick's going to like this. Uh, son Dakota's going to like it. So it was a lot, of, a lot of hard work, but it was worth it. And that, uh, you know, $65 investment in, in uh, materials. And I've just increased the value of this truck probably by about $750 to $1,000. You know, you can debate that, but I have a good idea what this truck cost and what was paid what was paid for it. It's got a clean interior, it's got a clean engine, nice little V6, the interior is clean. So I think they're gonna be pretty happy with the value they're gonna get out of this. A couple things they gotta fix is the rear shocks and check the springs. And I noticed the front tires are really bad. They got different tires on all four. Uh, he's probably gonna wanna fix that. And the, the, the front tires are really, really bad. They're weathered. I didn't even notice it until just now. Uh, but you can see the cracking. I mean, I don't know how you, you see all that cracking. That's really bad. So, but other than that, unless uh, Nick asks me to do something else, uh, this is a wrap on the Tacoma project. Uh, hope uh, this kind of inspires some people to... Uh, take on some projects on their own, on their own vehicles, and uh, save some money because I'm telling you, if you go to a professional, this is a lot of money. All right. Nothing makes me happier than when I finish a truck or I finish any kind of work that I'm doing and I'm taking pride in it, but the ultimate critic is the owner. When I delivered that truck back to the 15 year old that owns it, he was excited. That made me feel really good about the work I did. It was worth every every moment of the 20 hours I put into it and all the hard labor. Total cost, I, I'm out $65 in, in parts. Uh, there's a couple foam pads there that I bought and then the $50 bottle of Finesse too. I had to break out some heavy rubbing compound to get the really deep spots. But you know what? When you look at the final product, I was pretty happy. When you compare this to this, no comparison. This truck's value shot up at least $750 to $1,000. I know it was originally paid for this truck, so I, I'm pretty confident they could get way more than they paid for, and it was a minimal investment. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you saw, you can subscribe to the channel and you'll get regular updates. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and uh, I got a blogger post that you can follow us on. So we really appreciate your feedback. Give us comments below. And uh, we'll see you next time.